me tell you my motto, tourist. Get your laughs while you can. I don't know what you're up to, but you better make it worth it. Shetty, you know what we're dealing with. Pin that tourist down. Roger, Chief. Supporting. Walter told me, yeah. Looks like you made a friend of your own. But it's good to make a choice. Sit on the fence, and you make no enemies. Or friends. Hey everybody, welcome back. So it's time I took a look at Cinder Carla's full course AC and maybe make it a little bit better. Or at the very least, make it different. I know that some of you out there who don't like the full all out missile builds will probably appreciate this one. <laughs> but anyhow, the ringleader of RAD and its chief engineer, responsible for the basic specifications of all the organization's products, a specialist in data processing and machine design, and a fountain of knowledge with an imaginative genius. Cinder Carla has produced a long line of eccentric and fanciful weaponry quite unlike those found in corporate catalog. Her stated design philosophy, what uses a killing machine that can't get a good laugh? Now the full course AC is a slow heavy machine with the HS5000 appetizer head, the CS5000 main dish core, the AS5000 arms, and the 2S5000 dessert legs. And now I'm suddenly hungry. Her booster is the overboost friendly Kikaku booster. Being loaded with nothing but missiles, she uses the FCS G2 P10 SLT, which has a great missile correction. Her generator is a Hakushi generator, which has a decent energy store and recharge rate. Just avoid letting it run out completely, as it suffers in the supply recovery and post recovery energy supply. And weirdly, she has the assault armor, even though her AC really isn't great in close. I think it's only really there because her boss fight takes place in such a tight quarters arena. Her weapons, she is doubling up on both the Aptura fan missiles and the soup scatter missiles. Now don't get me wrong, I enjoy the soups, but I also want to show off what a slightly less popular RAD launcher is capable of. So I threw the Apturus in the gar uh, garbage, because we're not missile boating her this time. In her right hand, I grabbed the Ludlow for its great sustained in close DPS and impact. Left arm is holding the attache heavy machine gun so that I'm able to lay down pain from mid range and get the nice little bonus of it still being an RAD part. Not really a bonus, it's just personal victory for me. I've got the delivery boy also by RAD on the left back because this asshole can, is a slow moving, menacing, long lasting prick who likes to rain little friends from over, overhead uh, while staying out of the immediate view of the target. And just to be extra mean, we have the dual humming missiles to also slowly menace the target. So for the internals, she was slow 
and it's still slow even with the PS6 speed booster, but I had to do something about that uh, 239 speed she suffered from. And since we aren't an all-out missile boat anymore, Talva is our now go-to all-around good boy to help still have some missile correction, but also have that short range and mid range capability. And you'll never believe it, I opted for defense over assault armor this time by using pulse armor. This build is all tanking damage and just unleashing everything as it becomes available without walling your missiles. Just move in slowly and pull the triggers. Uh, now let's go burn some coral and do some PvP. Looks like I was a little off. Well, Close enough is good enough for me. Great. They really are like fireworks.
right-hand definition at 50%. Well, that's gonna do it for Cinder Carla's full course uh, upgrade. Yeah, I, I still think it's kind of an upgrade. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and come back for more. Special thanks to Gridnad for becoming a member of the channel. That gets him early access to videos and a couple of emojis. Thanks for watching. Bye.